Welcome back to Dredged. Or Dredge with me, Cornish Knight, as we enter close to getting completed with the game. Um, now, I had intended to try and get the best ending possible. Unfortunately, that looks like it's going to be really hard because you need to basically have... Um, it's basically RNG to get it. Get that these guys are here. Okay. Right. Because the way you get the better ending is that you you have to find a random stranger, I have been told, who moves around the map. Um so it's really actually quite difficult to locate the person in question. Ooh, whale. Okay, so let's get over here. And let's see if we can um, get some stuff done. Yeah, yeah, creepy guy on a rock. End of the world and all that. Okay. So we've only got a few bits and pieces left to do. Oh, one more with hooks. Sorry, sorry about that. We've got, we've got only a few things left to do. So one of them's trying to get into the island. Um... So let's try and find the, all the stone pieces, which means they're going to be scattered about. No, I was hoping that might be a new breed of fish. For Peter's sake. not what I was looking for either. That might be something though. Definitely looks like something. Okay. Another tablet section. Okay. I did look up where the tablets were just because I want us to make progress. Because, man, like, you can spend so long in this game just running around not getting anything completed. Um which, as fun as that is, I want us to make decent progress, and it's one of the issues with this game I find, it's like, as fantastic as this game is, stats... There's definitely something over there. A couple of things, actually, by the looks of it. I mean, I know what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to notice the things glowing in the in the night and go investigate in the day. Okay. So let's sleep. I'm gonna go and check out the um, the camp over here to see if our luck has improved and he's come back. This is the thing, I'd love to get the nice ending, because Cthulhu stories normally do not end nicely for anyone. Um, 
but I'm not willing to... I'm not willing to do the whole... randomly go from place to place. Okay. Okay. So I saw something golden glittering over here. In the ruins. Well, I saw a couple of things actually that were gold and glittering over in the ruins. Explosives. And that's the other piece. I mean, to be honest... To be honest, I probably would have found those on my own, even perhaps to look without looking them up. Um, okay, so now we've got both pieces, because we've got... Okay. Find all the tablet pieces and then head back to Little Marrow. Yeah, okay. And let's pump punch it back to base. I mean, from reading the notes that we've discovered as well, it's, and from what we've basically seen people talk to us about, it's pretty obvious that we are, like, like my take on it is that we're either the bloke in the notes or we're someone who's basically come looking for the bloke in the notes. I'm wondering if the bloke we saved from the shipwreck was the guy we were supposed to talk to. Now, nah, we'll find out what happens eventually. I mean, it's Cthulhu lore. Getting the nice ending is nearly always impossible. Stone the stone tablet. Try to look at the stone tablet from you and laser it on the table next to the other. Hmm. Judging by the age of the stone and the shape of the glyphs, these are part of the same set. I'll keep this now until you come across others. It looks like they were joined together to form a square, so hopefully this is there'll be just one more find. Oh, you got another? Wonderful, please let me see. Try to take the stone tablet from you and place it alongside the other. He turns them over and arranges them together in a square. On the outside of the table, the on the underside of the tablet, new glyphs begin to form, casting an eerie light onto the low ceiling. Hmm, yes, go on. You've been transcribing the glyphs onto an old scrap of parchment. Each stroke appears to demand excruciating concentration. After a few minutes, he puts down a pen and reads aloud. When the sky mistakes the stars and the air grows thick with night, the deep will open like scars. Protect us, O guiding light. I only know of one guiding light, but the ta these tablets predate predate the lighthouse of the Great Moor by centuries. The fragments are fused together now. Why don't you take this back? In theory, it would open a lock somewhere. Okay. An intriguing mystery. Do let me know if you make any progress. In the meantime, do you have anything to trade? Yeah. 
There we go. So let's sleep. Okay. So we just need to get to the ancient lighthouse again. Off we go. I was wondering if it was going to be an, an ex a strange one, because we haven't got all of those things yet. But it doesn't look like it's going to be. Okay, let's go here. So judging from the description of this thing, um, and looking at the cave paintings in here, pics of Robert Burford's civilization, the great beacon of light is sown, repelling a tentacle figure emerging from the sea in the dim light of the cave. Yeah, it basically looks like the light failed. To a lighthouse monster of six to the people. So basically the lighthouse kept them safe by the looks of it until the volcano erupted and damaged it and then Kafuru basically turned up and ate everybody. You climb the many steps leading to the lighthouse at the base of solid stone door. You can't see the hand up but there's a large socket. Large socket card into the face. The fuse tablet clicks in place and the door rumbles before sliding open. Step inside. You step through the door of the ancient lighthouse. The stairway to the top has collapsed. This is as far as you can go going to get. Around you are numbers of dusty objects. Some of them are valuable. Uh, some of them look valuable. Okay. What is it? Okay, take that. Impossibly bright for such a compact design. Delicate faceted crystal focuses on potential simmering flame. We just have to find the last thingy bob, which is what we get the flames from, I believe. This is the one here. Stone shrine. Two malformed fists writhing around the sun. Is 
two malformed fists writhing around the sun. Okay, I've got no clue what that is. Maybe it's... Normally there's clear indications of what it is. Malformed fist though is an interesting description. Um Not good. Okay. Twisted fish, twisted fish. These two could it? Maybe. Ugh. No, that's not it. Okay. Problem is that the description of it is not very clear. In stone, two malformed fists writhing under the sun. So is it two malformed fists around the sunfish? Uh, okay. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna look it up, folks. One second. Okay. So it's it's literally being um. It's literally being um, on the nose, as it were, with what they want, which is that you need to get, you need to get, you need to catch two aberrations, just straight up catch two aberrations. Um, it's doable, easy to do at night.
but we just can give it a try. I know some people think that's cheating me trying to look it up and I could probably sat there and fought it over. No, that's not going to be it. We need to find one that's got... This is where it's going to get hard because aberrations are not always that forthcoming. It's very much randomised. I know they're more common at night. I mean, they're definitely easier to spot at night. Okay, so we got another book read. Very nice. Oh no. Time to go back to base. Okay. Uh, this is going to be hard, because finding two aberrations next to each other is not easy. Look, well, finding another aberration on sort notice isn't going to be easy. Species of fish, rat tail. Found at great depths, these most abundant of all deep fish, they grab in large numbers around the structures in the deep. Okay. Fascinating. Careful not to stray too far. That's cool. I 
I just need one more fish. to be a pain this I can just tell okay I mean, I'd normally go out at night looking for them, but it's when they spawn in larger amounts. But with this, that could be one. What is it? Infernal eel, grown fat from countless corpses that rest in the deep, the harboring of the sick mercy for lost souls. Okay, yeah, that's it. That's it, we've got it. We just need to get through the dead night, survive through the night. Sell off the other fish. Hmm. No! Fiddle sticks. I did it again. Every last time, Okay, so he's... Don't believe I did that. I knew that was going to happen. I just knew it. Okay. So annoyed with myself. Just checking to make sure the light wasn't reducing my. Making some of the light wasn't reducing my ability to catch fish or, or aberrations or something. Uh, okay, let's. Something a bit strange. You're not going to give that to me, are you? No, okay. Okay. The 
the thing is, it's pretty much impossible to go nighttime hunting in this region. It's so misty, you can't see anything. Okay. Problem is, by this point, the fist would have probably have rotted away, so I need to get two of them. I, need, I do need to go back and check in here to see if the fist is even still usable. It's still fresh. Okay. That's fine. It gives me still a little bit of breathing room. And of course, because I knocked, slightly knocked something, it's the end of the world. Okay. Yeah, I know, discard, unwanted. I hate discarding fish. Okay. Ugh, man, this is annoying. I mean, at this point, I don't really need much of anything. I mean, in getting all the way up to the new hill, hall, hall seems pointless. Okay, well, it's not pointless. I can see why they're trying to do it. Okay, let's just... There has to be one fish around here with the... Let's try getting out of the misty bit into more clearer waters. Maybe that will get us something twisted. At least help us see it easier in the dark. Nothing else. I mean, I know where the temple is. It shouldn't be too hard to get back there. Here we go. Straight away. Mouthed shark, a large, that's actually a really cool shark design. A large body bisected by enormous going more teeth stretched down forever into a blackness of the gullet. I want to have a look at that. Yeah, that's a cool, I, I, man, I love the shark design in this game. I love the fish design in this game. Okay, let's get to the dock. Because we are quickly losing our minds.
Okay. That is a nice sunrise. Makes it nearly impossible to see what I'm doing, but can't say I don't approve of the sunrise. Okay. Did I come into the wrong section? Yeah, I did. Fantastic. around. Oh, of course, now that I don't need it, it appears, as you know, my lock was always fortuitous like that. Okay. The stone splits into my crack, tumbling away to reveal its core. Entrusted talisman, a stone tablet surrounding by by two from bone, a glyph of a hook is carved into the center. Install time, pissing speed, vibrational bonus. Okay. You... Of course. Of course, because at this point, like, why not? Okay. Why not? Am I going to die here because I accidentally just clipped the boat slightly? So now we've got an absolute eternity of just slowly moving across. Do I have anything in the cabin? Can't get to the hold. Okay, so now it's just an absolutely painful, slow... Slow drag. I have to say, I think the... I mean, I can understand where they're coming from, because obviously boats, boats, like ships in general, ships and boats, are relatively delicate, so you don't want to hit hit them. It'll run them into any kind of obstacle if you can worry about it. But sometimes I think they're a bit sort of like happy-go-lucky of how they apply the damage in this. All right. Okay, so that's fixed. Fixing that. Got the monies. Okay. Storage. Okay. Uh, pursuits. Ring in the Stellar Basin. What's Devil's Spine? Okay. But that's the next time, folks. I've been calling this night. This has been Dreads, and we shall see you all again soon. Goodbye.